Good morning, Jay First Baptist Church. This is a this is an unscheduled extra post for this uh, for this week, but I just wanted to to kind of get some word out. I I've been watching the the news, and I understand they are uh, more and more states are opening up their their guidelines for for getting out and about. And I know here in Florida we have been doing this, and I know our beaches have been opened, and many businesses now are being allowed to open. In fact, this morning or this afternoon, I'm going to be going to one of those businesses to get some things done. And um, that's great for these business op uh, operators. And um, I know as a pastor at J First Baptist Church, I'm most, most interested in the heart and the soul of, of those in, in, our, in our town. But I also understand the reality that uh, we have many in our town that have to work. And uh, we've been very fortunate in, in Jay area. And we've been very fortunate that we've kept many of our businesses open. Some have had to uh, close temporarily, but uh, Lord willing, they will be back up and running. And those, those owners will be uh, doing what they do best and serving our community. And that's a great thing. But I wanted to call for just, a, or just wanted to broadcast just for a couple of, of reasons. One reason this morning is I wanted to share with the community that we're having two food drives in our, in our area over the next couple of weeks. Thursday of this week on May 14th at 10 a.m. over at the Bray Hendricks Park in the town of Jay, there's going to be a food distribution going on right there in the park. And I would encourage you, if you have a need in this area, please, this is, a, this is an opportunity for you to go and get some needed food in your pantries. And, and it is a good, good item, and we just appreciate all that this Town of Jay is doing. I know there are many that are going to be volunteering for this, and we appreciate them, and may God bless them for this endeavor. Also, too, um, I was given a sheet. In fact, I'll hold it up here. Now, I do know on these videos, I think the writing comes out backwards, but I'll read this sheet for you. This was given to me by the King's Harvest, by the, uh, the, by the one who manages this, and a wonderful gentleman, and he, uh, his name is, uh, um, uh, he just does a wonderful job, and they're going to be doing 70,000 pounds on Sunday, May 24th, from the Cornerstone Church uh, parking lot area. And this is for Santa Rosa and Escambia County, Florida residents. And this is gonna be from 3 p.m. Uh, to, to about 6 p.m. It says, please bring your ID and prepare to receive a harvest. Uh, limit one registered person per address. So you'll, they'll need to have your address. And I just wanted to encourage you, once again, we have the food distribution at Bray Hendricks Park on the 14th. But if you're in good shape now, maybe toward the end of the month, you might say, you know, I would really be able to use this. Then let me encourage you. The King's Harvest Food Pantry is going to be um, sending this out and they are um, and uh, they have been doing a wonderful job in our community. You can look them up on Facebook um, and you can on, on the Internet. And it's the King's Harvest is their name. And they'll be they'll be setting out food for for um, everyone who who comes. And uh, please bring your ID for that. I would suppose you probably need your ID for the food distribution at Bray Hendricks Park in the town of Jay, and that'll be this Thursday from 10 a.m. following. So I would encourage you. You have two opportunities. If you if you have a need, or if you know of someone who has a need. These are opportunities to get this, these needs met. And I would just encourage you, um, what a wonderful opportunity our town has taken and the King's Harvest has done to help meet the physical needs of our, of our wonderful community. By the way, we still have um, a, a, a good amount of food in our food pantry. And if you have a need, I was just called yesterday by a young lady from, um, I believe she was from the... The, the the county and she was asking how would a person come and get some food in the area and I said if they call the office or if they call my cell phone uh, then I can meet them here if, if we have an unscheduled time and we can make sure that they have some food to take home 
So we want to, I just want, wanted to double address this because we have some opportunities here in our town right now. Also, too, I want to just encourage us, as we start, as the state starts allowing us to have less restrictions on our movement, I want to encourage you, there's still some things in place, and I had a wonderful, two Zoom meetings actually yesterday, one with the, uh, with, with the county, uh, it was a peer group meeting, um, and, and that was sponsored by our, by our Southern Baptist Area Coordinator, or Regional Coordinator, and these were pastors from our local county who were Southern Baptist. And we had a nice conversation here um, in that Zoom meeting. And, and, and various things that came out. I know some churches now are looking to open up. I know we here at J First Baptist Church, we are, we are still practicing the protocols for the pandemic and, and this virus. But we have opened up our, uh, and we had a meeting for the first time last Sunday on Mother's Day in our gymnasium. And we're setting up a, a number of chairs. We're spacing them out. And we are meeting the guidelines of about a 25 percentile. And, and we have uh, checked into this. And by the Florida Baptist Convention, their leadership have checked into the legalities and everything. And this was something that, that they said would not be an issue if we followed the same protocols that many of the restaurants are not following as far as percentile. We want to meet the needs of our people. I do truly believe that meeting together is so, so important. Not every church is opening up at this time. And let me just encourage you, lift up your pastors. This is something that are very, very, it, it's a difficult time. This is something we're not used to. We're used to having people coming in and giving them a hug or giving them a handshake. We're used to going and visiting in hospitals and at the homes of people. We don't, uh, this social distancing almost defeats the whole idea of what we do as a shepherd in our shepherding and our pastor, in, in our pastoral work. So let me encourage you, wherever you go for your services, if your church is doing outdoor services, then, then comply with what you should be, stay safe, and, 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 you know, and support your church if you're opening up like we are, and you don't feel you're in that higher risk category. And this is, this is very important. If you're in a high risk category, and, the, and what was stated early on was if you're over 65, if you have long-term illnesses, especially in the upper respiratory, these are individuals that I don't want you to be at risk. And when you come out, and we encourage you, wear your gloves and wear your mask in the services. Keep the social distancing be between the families when you're in the church service or when you're out and about even. I notice there are a lot of people that go out and they're not and they're not wearing a mask or they're not maybe wearing gloves. And 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 the gloves, you know, very 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 inexpensive. And we now have places available with the gloves. We are seeing the gloves. Um, I know right here in town, Napa has a lot of a lot of gloves. Now they're a black color, but they're the nitro gloves that work. Um, I have I have a couple boxes at home. One box I bought years ago at Harbor Freight, one of our one of men's toy stores, you know. Um, another box I bought uh, not too long ago. It was actually at Farmer's Market here in town, and they had some boxes of the gloves, and I got a box, and, and we've been using that also. But let me encourage you, there's homemade masks to, to use. I think the masks are now becoming more available and, um, and more inexpensive how they originally were, and those things are good to have on hand um, here at the church. When you come on Sundays now, and this will be going on for a while, you will see our, our team of, uh, uh, in our security who are letting people in, our, our, the, uh, all of our greeters, they're going to be in a mask and gloves. And that is not because they're worried about you. They are doing this to keep everyone safe. Um, and, and this is part of the safety aspect in how our government and the, and the, and the medical leaders in our government and in our country have encouraged us to try to be safe. I know they're lessening, but that doesn't mean this virus has gone away. What it means is, is now we might have more exposure and some of us are gonna be working and those of us working in the, in the field of service of, around our communities, they're gonna be more at risk also. And we need to, and at the end of our time together today, I'm gonna to lift them up in prayer. But I just want you to understand that 
here at J First Baptist Church as we're opening up, and it was a wonderful, wonderful time to see more than just a camera and a couple of people in the in in, in the area where, where we were doing the service. It was wonderful to see others, and I'm still glad we're we're able to have this technology where we can share our faith over the airwaves. What a wonderful, wonderful tool! But I I just was led. Um, Last night, I don't know, I just didn't sleep very well. And it, it wasn't, I don't think it was anything in, in, in particular. It just was, you know, I just thought a lot. And, and I went before the Lord some too. And, and I'll tell you, um, I just was led, this is something very, very important. I was watching some of the news media and how some parts of our country are still being under siege greatly with a lot of the coronavirus and I know Florida, we've seen a lessening in, in new cases. Well, some parts of the country are not seeing that, and they're not meeting. And I know we need to really pray for brothers and sisters in New York City. And, and I know in Georgia now, there are places that are seeing, and in Colorado and other places, that it's not decreasing yet. It will. This is one of those things that we will get through it. Yes, there will be loss of life, and that is very, very sad. And and that and and that is is something in this world. When sin entered this world, death came too. And I'm so sorry for those families that go through this. And I have, I one of some of our pastors were talking about how they have these virus, uh, the virus has hit their churches, and and that's very sad. And and we lifted these brothers up in prayer and. Um, and there have been a lot of a lot of discouragement uh, across across our nation because of all of this this handicap we're we're living in now. It's this isn't normal for us. We're a country with freedoms, and we're a country that God has blessed greatly. Well, we as Christians need to make a stand and show and set the example. So I want to encourage all of you um, here in our church. Maybe some, some people are watching this. You're not part of our church, but you're part of the Jake community. You are in a very blessed community. We have, we have seen very little coronavirus outbreak here, which, is a, which God has just spared us. And I don't know the reason, because there are other areas in the country that, that, that have seen a great amount of, the, of this virus being spread. But God has protected the, this community. And as one of the pastors here in this community, I just want to encourage you. I pray for this community. Whether you're in my church or you go to another church or you're not in any church, I'm concerned. I'm concerned for your, your health. I'm concerned for your soul. Because God desires each and every one of us to have a relationship with him. And during this time, that's been hard. It looks like we got light at the end of the tunnel, and that's great. But as we start lightening up on our on our social distancing and things like that, I want to encourage you, use caution and, and, and just try your very best to do what's right um, according to some of these guidelines. And you know what? You can, you're allowed to ask the Lord, give you wisdom. That's, 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 just, that's just a given. We're allowed to ask him as we start maybe readjusting to a more normal lifestyle. And I know there, there are many who, who watch this video who I know who struggle with, with lifelong illnesses. And I, my, my encouragement to you is don't, be, don't jump at, at all of this and don't jump the gun on trying to, you know, be out there with everybody else. Take time. Take, take time. You know, this is where patience that God can, can give us really can play and help us very, very well. Well, once again... Before we have prayer and before I, I, I conclude my time with you, um, I just wanted to re, restate that we have two food distribution points here in our area coming up. One is um, at the Bray Hendricks Park, the town of Jay, Thursday, May 14th. That begins at 10 a.m. If you are in need of foods, I would encourage you, please bring uh, ID with you. I believe they're going to do a car kind of running through where they will hand your, your groceries in, into your car. And uh, there's a number in town, a number of people in town that are going to be working with the city. And we just thank the city for this. 
what a wonderful blessing that they are with, with, with this food distribution. And then on Sunday, May 24th this month, from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., King's Harvest over by the Cornerstone Church is going to be handing out, and I believe their, their sheet says they're getting 70,000 pounds of food to hand out to both Santa Rosa and Escambia County, Florida residents. So if I, I would encourage you, uh, they said you, you can go to their website, which is, or their Facebook, which is at King's Harvest, The King's Harvest, The King's Harvest, and you can pull that up. And it's going to be, I think the, the food giveaway is going to be done out by the Cornerstone Christian Church here in town. So I want to encourage you, here's some opportunities. If your larders are, are low, and if you feel that, that this can help you, this would be a great, great, wonderful time to be able to, to participate in these two activities. And also to please just be reminded once again, as we start opening up in the state and we start maybe doing some things we haven't been doing, use, use good, good, good safety practices. It's all right to wear a mask. It's all right to wear gloves. I remember I've traveled throughout the Far East and I will tell you many times in the Far East, people wear masks and gloves. That's a common practice, even when there is, isn't a pandemic. So it's not, an, it's not an oddity. Even if you go into a place and they kind of look at you and it's like, what, you don't trust us? No, that's not the reason why you're doing this. You're doing this, first and foremost, you do not want to ha uh, catch anything. We don't know them. And people mix with different type peoples. And it's not a put down. It's not anything that's derogatory against anyone. It's that we just be safe out in our public areas. And may that help us stay safe. And may, may the Lord, uh, may he find favor in, in this world when it comes to this, to this pandemic. And may it leave us sooner than later. And I see some people even watching us outside of our community. And I'm giving a wave out to Lori right, right, right now. Um, that's my lovely sister-in-law. And, um, and, I, and I see she's watching. So I'm going to give you a wave, Lori, okay? Well, you all have a great and wonderful day. Let me close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you once again. And Lord, I do thank you for the opportunities you give us. I thank you for this opportunity to be able to go on the airwaves across this country and around the world, actually, in Facebook, and to be able to, to get a message that, that I think is important out. And, and Lord, I just ask for your, your protection around the, this community of Jay and other communities, all the communities around our great country and around the world, may, may you give us the greatest of wisdom in dealing with this pandemic. And may, during this time, those of us who know Christ as Savior, may we have opportunities to share our faith with those around us. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. I hope you have a blessed and most wonderful day. Bye-bye.